Got some scattered showers from near and just west and northwest of Sabetha, down through Seneca and into west central Nemaha County right now. Very slow movers. It's kind of raining in that general vicinity over the last couple of hours. Uh, those showers are sticking around there. Otherwise, just a few passing clouds. And those clouds will pass on through tonight and will become partly cloudy once again overnight. A rain chance around for tomorrow and then continued with below average weather temperature wise. There's a look at a partly cloudy sky in Jackson County from the Prairie Band Casino in Manhattan. Partly cloudy. You see the clouds thicken here and there, but other than blocking a little bit of the sunshine, most of these clouds have not amounted to much. It's currently 80 degrees and a light east southeast wind at 9 miles per hour. Started out at 58. We've made it to our current high of 80 degrees. It's 80 in Manhattan, 82 at Marysville, 79 for Burlington, as well as in Emporia right now. The winds are generally out of the east at about 10 miles per hour or so, give or take just a little bit. Those light breezes and fairly dry air, dew points in the upper 50s and low 60s, again, continued really good August weather. Just uh, one of those, you, after a while, you have to pinch yourself, is this really August that we can have this many nice days in a row? Even tomorrow when the humidity creeps up a little bit, it's just that. Now, it will come up a little bit higher as we head into briefly on Thursday. We get a little muggy, but then that breaks again by afternoon. So those should be temporary. But today, just a great day out there with a partly cloudy sky. Now, we do have our eyes on another system that will form out of the Rockies and start to slide eastward. Already seen an enhancement of showers and storms over the front range of the Rockies. And as we look at future track, some of those scattered showers and storms are in central Kansas by mid or even early morning hours tomorrow, but through the middle of the day. And then by afternoon, they start to move into our area. Kind of a scattering of showers. Best chance looks to be in the southwestern portion of the area. And then briefly, we all get a chance for Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. And then we clear out Thursday. Now I want to show you another system that we'll have to watch. Right now it looks like this would pass west and southwest of the area Thursday night. But it's heavier rain. So we'll keep an eye on it. But right now it looks like it does miss our area before we clear back out again for the most part on Friday. For tomorrow we'll see a partly cloudy sky. We'll see some passing clouds. 62 in the morning. A few showers and storms. 78 in the afternoon. And some showers possible at 74 in the evening. The next seven days... About a 60% chance for those scattered showers and storms, mostly late Wednesday into Wednesday night. A few of those could linger into the morning hours. But again, there will be some areas that don't get rained on. That is not a 100% chance. It's just about a 50 to 60% chance. 83 for highs Thursday and Friday. A few more showers and storms Saturday. And then clearing out Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And continuing with highs at or below 85 degrees. Just some really nice weather out ahead of us. Now, if you look at these clouds, this was yesterday evening from Randy and Sharon Parnell in Topeka. Do you see the arrowhead gap in the clouds there? Kind of a uh, Kansas City Chiefs themed cloud there, I guess you could say. So a nice one there. 11 days to go for Clear the Shelters. That's coming up on August 19th. You see the six participating area humane societies and shelters that will be a part of that. Uh, again, that is a big push nationally, and we want to be a big part of it here in Northeast Kansas as well to help those uh, dogs find and cats find their forever homes. Yeah, I, I, I would say it. Don't you forget about the cats. We're also <laughs> 13 days away from a total eclipse. We want to make sure you have plans for that. You know, we tried to give out as many as we could. We gave out 1,500 glasses, and we could have given out thousands more by the, the turnout we had, but we just ran out for those without Brown County Blackout coming up on August 21st up in Hiawatha. I hope to see you there. Yeah, and we'll all be there as well, so yep. come, come see us.